Okay, wordplay is very simple. The main idea is to play with literal and figurative meaning. The magic comes from the context. So, if you first think of a common saying such as a penny for your thoughts, what we mean by that is tell me what you're thinking. However, wordplay comes when you see the literal meaning. In our case, it could be I shot you in the head, then I left you a coin. Now that's a penny for your thoughts. This is the easiest way you could utilize wordplay. I've talked about that technique in depth in the manual, so be my guest to check it out. But here, you know, I can give you a few tips. Uh, the steps are simple. Just one, you find a common saying. Two, think of a context that could work with the literal meaning. Three, combine the two in a regular form. Four, then you switch words around so you make the sentences rhyme and flow together. Another example, common saying, keep something at bay. Context, have a yacht. Combination, cars are not enough, I keep something at bay. A rhyme form, times have been good, my roots is here to stay. Cars are not enough, I keep something at bay. Wordplay is not reserved just for common sayings. You can use wordplay on any figure of speech as long as you can convey an unorthodox meaning to it via creative context. For example, the word goalkeeper. The literal word is a sports term used to describe the football player assigned to guard the goalpost. However, using creative context, you could use the other meaning of the word. For example, my friend keeps my vision in check, he's my goalkeeper. How to practice wordplay. This technique is only hard in the beginning. Once you know how to imagine creative context, then it's a piece of cake. The best way to practice it is to 1. Google common sayings. 2. Choose one and write it down. 3. Uncover the literal meaning of the saying. 4. Think of a situation where that literal meaning could be used. Imagine if the common saying didn't have a figurative meaning. In which situation would you use it? For example, a piece of cake means easy, but what if it really meant a piece of cake? 5. Combine the context with the common saying. In our case, it could be, I took what I wanted, it was a piece of cake. 6. Repeat the process until you feel you could do it automatically. Now, this is the basic form of wordplay. If you're an advanced user, you could try thinking of phrases that have two, three meanings at the same time. For example, Rick Ross had a bar that went, go to hell, any n-word wanna buy my soul. So it could mean you can fuck off if you wanna buy his soul or you go to hell if you wanna buy it off because he already sold it. Don't rush it though, just focus on learning how to use literal meanings and build creative context to support it, and over time your lyrics can go cryptic as well. Good luck.